The weakest schedule in Power 5 conference play probably means a trip back to postseason play for a program that missed its window. Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the game we love with the best in discussion, debate, and analysis each and every day. Lock it in here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. That means subscribe, watch the videos, share them, and of course, like and comment below. You can help build the channel and keep us going by doing your Amazon shopping using the link in the description section that you see below. Grab that link. It doesn't cost you a penny. You don't have to buy the product, but simply use that link to do your Amazon shopping. And of course, join us on Patreon where we're going to have a whole lot of fun uh, with your viewer comments reaction from me, both acknowledging and also tearing through uh, some of the comments made to the channel here. All right, let's get back to our schedule rankings. We've arrived at the worst schedule among any team that plays in a Power 5 conference league. Uh, so the first of four have involved some of the lesser independents with very weak schedules that play a lot of group of five and FCS teams. So this is the first from the Power 5, and it's the first from the ACC. So this is the easiest schedule in the ACC. It's the easiest schedule among anybody that plays within a conference in the Power Five. It's number 14 in the ACC, number 66 out of 70 teams in the country, and it belongs to North Carolina State. Now, NC State at least is scheduling West Virginia. We had the scheduled duel between Will Greer and Ryan Finley that didn't materialize last year because of the hurricane, unfortunately. So West Virginia... Uh, is the target once again the third week of September. NC State travels to Morgantown. I enjoy that matchup, but it's not going to be nearly as good as it would have been with Finley and Greer in 2018. In addition, for NC State, they take on uh, East Carolina and Western Carolina, so they cover the Carolinas from uh, east to west there. With East Carolina, August 31st to open the season, uh, probably one of the worst uh, 30 teams in the FBS, and then also Western Carolina from the FCS. The fourth Non-conference game for NC State before they dive into the ACC is Ball State on September 21st, a team that uh, I would rank right now in the bottom of 25 to 30 teams in the country as well. All right, one of the reasons why NC State is worst schedule among Power 5 teams is that uh, their two non-division games, not very good. Georgia Tech and North Carolina. So they play at Georgia Tech. That game's coming up on November 21st, then they've got North Carolina to conclude the season. So they've got their two non-division Coastal Conference, Coastal Division games on November 21st and November 30th against Georgia Tech on the road and North Carolina. So they play two of the worst teams in the conference, and they avoid Miami and some other teams in that Coastal Division. All right. It's not a horrible schedule otherwise. So understand that uh, as the 66th, rated schedule in the country. Probably the next 20 schedules are fairly, fairly comparable. So uh, this was a difficult decision to make in sorting out these schedules and ranking them. For NC State, of course, uh, most of their most popular uh, weightiest games come in division against the national champions. Of course, Clemson, November 9th. They've got Florida State on September 28th on the road. Then an open date before Syracuse. Uh, that being one of the key games for them, of course, in the division uh, against some comparable programs like Syracuse, who beat them at the Carrier Dome last year. Wake Forest, Boston College, those are typically close games for NC State and have been teams that they've typically beaten most of the time, although they lost on the road on a Thursday night against NC State at home last year on senior night, which was one of their three ACC losses as NC State finished at 9-4 and four after the embarrassing bowl loss against Texas A&M, won 52-13, and they finished 5-3 and three in the ACC. So again, they don't really have a difficult stretch. Uh, Clemson's by itself. They've got Wake Forest before Clemson. They've got Louisville after Clemson. Uh, and again, they finish up with uh, three softies in Louisville, Georgia Tech, and North Carolina for the most part. West Virginia highlights the non-conference, but this is a West Virginia team that shouldn't be nearly as good as it was last season with all the playmakers on offense, Will Greer, and uh, losing its left tackle as well. NC State has the easiest schedule, not just in the ACC, but the easiest schedule among all Power 5 conference teams, number 66, ranked among 70 by Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. 
Let us know what you think about NC State football coming up this fall. And, of course, uh, project their record. I've got them at 7-5. and five. That's not my final prediction. I may change it before the season starts. I will have my final predictions out the last week of August. But my projection for NC State right now, 7-5, and 4-4 four and four in the ACC. Just a ton of games outside of the Clemson game that they could either win or lose. Even the North Carolina game is a possible loss. But that should be a win. Louisville should be a win. Clemson a loss. That's 2-1. and one. And I survey the rest of it. Going to Florida State in Tallahassee and some other games at Boston College is going to be difficult as well. That game, uh, the Syracuse game, is actually on a Thursday night. There are some losses there for NC State as they lose a lot of talent to the NFL, including, of course, quarterback Ryan Finley. 4-4 four and four in the ACC, 7-5 and five is my projection. And, of course, it is the easiest schedule in the ACC and in all of college football among Power 5 conference teams that involve 64 teams. 14 in the ACC, the SEC, and the Big Ten. 12 in the Pac-12 and 10 in the Big 12. Let's talk it up right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Of course, lock it in, and we will see you soon.